Students, today we're going to learn how to find the sum and find the difference of 6. Well, this video goes with a series of 2's, 3's, 4's, and 5's. And finding those using odds and evens. So, if you're watching this video first, it's not going to make sense. But, if you look at the red crossed off facts, you don't even need to know those because you've already used strategies with odds and evens that they're gone. So you don't even need to worry about those. We don't have very many facts left when we get up to 6, 7, 8, and 9 because we've already taken care of them when we built our foundation with our 2's, 4's, 3's, and 5's using odd and even numbers. Again, you have to know your odd and even numbers, forwards and backwards, without even thinking. I promise, if you know those, you will go, you'll fly quickly through your flashcards. Well, let's show you how it works with sixes. Eight plus six. Kind of forget the six in your head, find the eight. Eight is an even number, so we're going to go over here. Now, I'm only using this right now to show you, but you have to have these in your head. You know that 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 plus 2, 8 plus 4 is um, 12, and then you're going to know 2 more makes plus 6 is 14. You're skipping all the other numbers that you don't need to be counting. You don't need to be going 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. Skip numbers you don't need. You only need even in this case. Okay, 9. 9 is an odd number, so you're not even going to worry about any even numbers. So you come over here. You go 1, 2, 3, because that is plus 6, because 15 is 6 away because odds and evens are always two away. This is two away, two away, two away. Seven is an odd. Two, four, six, thirteen. It also works with subtraction. This time you go backwards. Fourteen is even, so we're skipping all odd numbers. 14, you would go, that's 2, that's 4, and that's 6. 12, 2, 4, 6. 15, 2, 4, 6. 13, 2, 4, 6. Now, Again, we use this number line to show you how to do this, but in your head, you automatically have to know what numbers come before 13. You have to know 11, 9, 7. You have to know those. If you know those, like you know how to spell your name, like it's just a part of you, odds and evens, I promise you will go quickly through all your math facts. If I can convince you to know your odds and evens, this will help you unbelievably. So, good luck. Give it a try. Get those odds and evens memorized, forwards and backwards.